poppin'. Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I pass that bitch like stockin'. What's going on guys? Today we're gonna go out with a Supra, do some pulls and do data logs so we can finish the tune. I hope my mickeys get traction. Yeah, it's been around 35 degrees Fahrenheit this past week. Today is in the 45, 50s. So I think we should be good. Let's turn on the car, let it warm up, go do a few data logs and uh, then we can talk about the turbo. All right, so my tuner asked for a third gear pull from 2000 RPM all the way to a top of Ford. I really hope we get some traction. Let's put the car in sport mode. Turn off traction control. Yeah, that was that was some spinning. Yeah, now traction is fully off. much better pull <laughs> wow my heart rate yeah and my tuner told me this is around 27 28 psi so I think there is still room to improve so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna park somewhere uh, disconnect the boot mount from the car and uh, connect my tablet to a hotspot from my phone so I can send the data logs to my tuner and uh, then he's gonna get back to me oh we have to Turn on hotspot on the phone. We have to disconnect the BM3. Now connect to my hotspot. Then open boot mod, data logs. I'm gonna skip this one because we were spinning. This one was a good one. So we're gonna share with our tuner. And there it is. He's gonna take a look at the log and uh, he's gonna get back to me. Yeah, a lot of you guys have been asking me, is the Dow Turbo worth it? Is it fast? Yeah, it's pretty quick. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big difference from uh, my previous setup on downpipe and E50. A completely stock Supra to a downpipe and E50 tune. You gain over 120 wheel horsepower just from a downpipe and a tune. You push 500 wheel, that's 120 wheel horsepower difference. That's a completely different car after you do these mods. So right now I'm pushing over 100 horsepower from my previous setup. That's a big jump. So I hope that helps you guys decide if you want to buy it. But from what I've been reading and seeing in the forums and the groups, a lot of people have, have been complaining about older hybrids. Dow Turbo is a very good option right now. With a Dow Turbo, you can push between 650 and 700 wheel, still on stock transmission, still on stock manifold, stock low pressure fuel pump. That's pretty good. A lot of people are thinking, oh, I'm just gonna add the turbo, but you're gonna need the supporting mods. You can push around 800 horsepower on this turbo. And that's pretty quick, guys. I mean, the car is not heavy and it's pretty fun. A lot of people are telling me, why didn't you go top mount? Because I don't have the supporting mods. Okay, I'll get the top mount turbo, but then I need to do the trans. I need to do the manifold. There's so many more things and you just keep adding things to the bill. It's not just one big turbo. So I'm gonna see what I can do with this Dow turbo. I'm gonna upgrade the transmission next year with the manifold and I'm gonna see what the turbo can do. That's why I did the hybrid. I'm, <laughs> I'm so happy with this power right now. Whatever it's 650 or 700 wheel, the car feels fast. You don't have to look at the numbers all the time. I just wanted a bit more power from my previous setup, a downpipe A50. 500 wheel was fun, but it, it wasn't much faster than my previous GTI with the Vortex XL Turbo. I'm happy with the car right now. And also my tuner told me there is room to improve. So what else to ask? Uh, I'm gonna try to 
have some runs this weekend hopefully the weather is good it's 53 degrees right now it's it's pretty good boost weather so I'm hoping I can uh, have some fun this weekend and uh, I'll keep you guys updated with the car if you guys want to see more make sure you subscribe comment because I want to see what you guys think about it peace